The 2020 Kawasaki Versus LTSE. This is a special edition. It is an adventure tourer, and according to Kawasaki, it is a game changer. We'll find out. It's the L2R review. Kawasaki is billboarding the Versus 1000 LTSE as having more comfort and improved technology. Well, first, let's look at the comfort. Right away, you'll find yourself in an upright, relaxed riding position, which offers a high level of machine control. Add to that the comfortable seat, good wind protection provided by the adjustable shield. This is a winner. Now, for the technology. Before you even set foot on this motorcycle, you're able to configure your ride with a smartphone app called Rideology, the app. For me, I skipped this one, but you know what? It's available to you. From here, you can configure your own power, traction control, and cornering. Add to that an electronic cruise control setup and the choice of three riding modes, road, sport, and rain. I chose sport. Okay, here are the specs. This is a 1043cc parallel twin, a chain-driven 6-speed transmission with assist and slipper clutch, with a ground clearance of 105 millimeters and a seat height of 32 inches. This is a beast on the road. Added bonus, the removable saddlebags. Yeah, they're standard and provide enough room for a large helmet and hiking gear if you so desire. Let's check out some of the pros. Heated grips, hand protectors, add to comfort like nobody's business. Man, it was a nice touch. All LED lighting with cornering lights, huge bonus. And overall presence on the road, whew, you will be seen. Now, here are some of the cons. This is not a one size fits all bike. Know what you're getting into ahead of time. This is not your standard off-road riding bike and it starts with the wheels. That's okay, you gotta get to your destination first. Another con, if you're not tech savvy, you will get lost. So, read up. My final point, throw in the designs and the comfort of this bike and you have got yourself a winner. You're on the highway, you're eating up the road and you're leaving the world behind you. So the 2020 Kawasaki versus LTSE, we give this a four out of five bikes for three reasons, price, frame, technology. Price-wise, for all that you get, it hits the sweet spot. Frame, it is a higher bike, so if you have a smaller stature, there may be some challenges, but they can be overcome. Finally, technology. I'm a bit of a technology geek, so I kind of geeked out on this a bit, but if that scares you, this might be a challenge for you. Nonetheless, four out of five bikes for this beautiful Kawasaki. Hey, more reviews coming up. Thank you for watching this one. This has been an L2R Review.